Welcome back to another Daily Recap for Friday, November 29, 2024, the day after Thanksgiving. I'm Sam Morton. So in the pre-market, they have already attempted the former highs. They've been bouncing off of 601. I think they'd have to get above 601, have some hourly closes above that area before they could go higher as possible. And there are some areas above that, including a zone up between 602.06 and 602.42 that could catch price, at least for a scalp trade. And there are levels all over the place below that as well. I have no intention of trading today. So as soon as this recording is over and I send out these levels to those on my email list, I'm packing it up and I'm working on other things today. I will point out that this is being recorded in 4K. I know these little one minute candles are pretty small. I've made everything larger in terms of the font size and everything else. So, so if you have a monitor or a screen that supports 4K resolution, you can zoom in yourself and the image quality should be retained. After the market closes, we'll come back to this chart and talk about whatever happened today. I'll catch you on the other side. So what happened if you chose to trade the levels today? I will say this is the reason I don't like to trade the day before and after major holidays. You just never know what's going to happen. So the levels were respected somewhat, but they didn't really produce good trades. So I'm going to adjust the levels toward price as price is coming up. This is 945. They were under this level here at 648, so it becomes 643. I'll adjust this one here at 601.45 down to 601.40. I don't touch the levels on zones. So what happened? Well, they got up to the level. Would have triggered a short trade at 947. You'd want them to come down four points in the E-minis, which is the equivalent of right here, 600.3. Did they do that? Nope. They got within four pennies. The low was 607 cents and took off back up to your entry point. Normally, you would you would just jump out at a wash because that's a near miss of your profit objective down here. Kind of an indication that price is kind of bullish. and You don't want to be in a short position. Then they came up to 601.40. Well, what did they do? They got it to 601.40, spiked it, came back down to a low of 601.09. Ten cent with that's within 10 cents. That's also a near miss of your profit objective. So if you were short here, you would jump out when you got to your break even. That'd be the smart thing to do. They did come down a little bit, but it's not worth waiting around. Once again, it's an indication they're going higher. So I'm not going to adjust the levels in this zone, 602.06. 60206, they got to a high of 60204, two pennies away, looking for a base hit down here somewhere. They did not get within the 10 cent threshold, so you would go ahead and go short here, and that puts your fumble threshold up here, which is 60246. So you're in a short trade at this lower part of the zone. They consolidated within a 20 cent threshold of this top part of the zone, and they did that for more than 20 minutes. That violates a rule, so you would not have gone short at the top part of this zone. Meanwhile, you're looking for a signal above this fumble threshold, the red line, to tell you that the short trade you entered back here was wrong, and that happened when you were six and a half points out of the money, and you would have reversed the trade, and that would have given a base hit as they continued higher. And that's pretty much it unless you want to take a recycle trade when they came back down to the zone, but would you have known the market was going to close about right now? It was a partial day. I would not have, so I'm not going to count that. So a six and a half point fumble, a base hit on the reversal, and that's it. No more trades. And I was not in any trades myself today. So where does all this put us on the daily chart? Right before the weekend, it puts us at new highs. They closed at 602.55. So they got above 600 finally, and they stayed there, just took their time. And it was on low volume, so no signal on the daily chart. For all we know, they're going to continue to go higher next week. Also gave us no signal on the weekly chart. And the monthly chart, as predicted, was a very nice big up candle all month long, closing at the highs. We're on time for something to happen, though. Could take some time. Could take a month or two. I think I mentioned that before. Here are the tracking logs. The first one, the playing by the rules log. You can see the levels that were hit, starting at the one at L5, level 5, on the way up. The only points that were really bagged were at level 7, but it was a fumble before a base hit, so negative 2.5 points. And no trades here on the Sam's Trades Log. So that wraps up the week and the month. It'll be interesting to see what happens going forward. Of course, on Monday, there will be new levels, another game plan. And I'm curious to see what they're going to do in the overnight session starting Sunday night. And we've got some things happening in the month of December that could make things interesting. I'll talk to you in the next recap video. Have a great rest of your day.